Farmers await the finalization of the liquidation process of the St. Lucia Banana Corporation to get monies due to them for their labor. In 2011, government acquired shares of the SLBC in the regional export company Winfresh. The company, which went into voluntary liquidation, was managed by the St. Lucia Agricultural Holding Company. The major shareholders, the farmers, met over the weekend to close the deal and complete the sale of the SLBC's land and old headquarters. Farmers turned up in droves for the meeting at the Monrepo Primary School. The meeting this afternoon is to, to pass a special resolution of shareholders so as to enable the liquidation process of the SLBC in liquidation to continue. Um, the objective is based on the need um, created by the absence of one of the liquidators from the state and um, we need a resolution from the shareholders who are the ordinary farmers. That resolution would allow for the sale of the company head office, headquarters, the land, to be completed and for the liquidator then to be able to allocate the funds to the members, the shareholders, and complete the whole liquidation process. Former executive chairman of the SLBC and now advisor to the liquidator, Patrick Joseph, looks forward to the completion of the liquidation process after years of delays. Joseph says his aim was to protect the interests of the farmers. Since we don't have any more property after this one is sold, it means that my work as the the leader, I would say, of the, the organization and the movement is going to be over soon after this last piece of property is sold. And I would feel that the weight has been lifted off of me for, 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 for my assignment. And you might say that uh, my aim was to see to it that all the property belonging to farmers was sold and the proceeds were shared back into the farmer's hand. And I must say, being in this country, out of four, and we're the only ones still selling bananas, and we are also the only one that has been able to, how would I say, to, to get our property and then sell it and receive the proceeds. There is, there is a certain amount of satisfaction and accomplishment in that. Winfresh markets bananas to the UK on behalf of St. Lucian farmers. However, the company's UK operation will be going into administration. Agriculture officials expressed concern about the uncertain future of the industry now that the marketing company's UK business is in financial trouble. Former executive chairman of SLBC believes there is hope for the sector, but the government needs to do more on their end. Bananas have a future. It always had a future. The problem with bananas is the leadership of it. And it starts from the leadership where the farmer is concerned, the leadership where the government is concerned, and most of all the leadership where the marketing is concerned. And I think the only leadership that has proven that it can hold its end is the farmer's end of it. We struggle, we did what we had to do to get what was ours, but after we get it, it was not up to us to keep the industry going. Actually, it was up to government and Winfresh, and uh, those two have failed the farmers miserably. Joseph made a case on behalf of the shareholders for some of the funds from the SLBC liquidation process to go towards the memorial in Grand Riviere Denry for Randy and Julius James. The two farmers were shot and killed by police on October 7, 1993, during a protest led by the Banana Salvation Committee in the no-cut strikes against the then John Compton administration. Sixty people were also shot and wounded by police. The monument in commemoration of the dark events on that day is said to be in a state of disrepair. Chuakim Duplessis, HDS News Force.